Hey everybody, I am working Ruby inside the house with a prong and an e-collar. She has been a fearful, anxious dog, putting on the brakes a lot for me, um, not wanting to follow direction. So you see that red light lighting up on that on that uh, e-collar box? That's when I'm putting the stimulation on from the, from the yeah. e-collar. So I'm using a continuous pressure on the e-collar right here because she puts on the brakes and if I just use the prong, I'll be here all day. So using the prong is directional and the e-collar is dialing up a little bit. Good. It's getting her to detach from her fear stuff. The prong, I mean the e-collar just adds pressure to the prong. Good. So then nothing there, but here. Good. So getting her to do these figure eights. You can see how she gets like stuck here. So I'm on level five, I'm sort of dialing up as I need to. Come on. So I want her to be able to follow this leash pressure. Um, this e-collar stimulation is more meaningful or valuable to her than just the prong. But see, like if I hadn't used the e-collar, then she wouldn't be moving through this. She would be stuck in her resistance to not wanting to do it. So right now, just getting some really nice stuff here from Ruby. I mean, underneath a lot of the anxiety is like a fear, anxiousness. So, good, sit, good girl. So yesterday, um, a lot of putting on the brakes. Like, no, I'm just not gonna go anywhere. And then she would start to kind of shut down. And so, a little e-collar there, dialing up, good. Okay, in order to just move through that stuff. So I want her to be a little bit more soft with the direction I'm giving her with the prong collar. Um, yeah, so every time she's getting stuck, she's getting tapped when I'm on level eight. Good. And there's only so much you can do with like little cute bribey kissy noises and all that stuff. And there's only so much you can do with food with a fearful dog. I mean, they won't take food. So this is what it looks like to work a dog through their stuff. And what you're doing is like just finding these little moments where they're avoiding you, they're avoiding the work. Another thing that Ruby's been doing, and yesterday you could see in the video when I was doing um, prong collar conditioning with her, the first time she was conditioned to do a prong collar, she was just like right here, like just giving like a three, two or maybe a two foot buffer to just stay as far away from me as possible. And uh, with the e-collar, I can use, you know, the same principle that we use in the remote collar heel which is continuous pressure, continuous low level pressure to guide her, like red button, guide her towards me in the position I want, and then release of that. So as to say like, I don't want you two feet away, I want you right by my side. Good. So she, uh, so in a sense what you're communicating is like, you avoiding me and not working through your shit, and putting on the brakes is actually not a safe thing to do. And at first with a dog like this, it's very counterintuitive, but you, you know, yesterday I had to use high taps on, high correction level taps for putting on the brakes. In addition to the prong collar directional information of like, hey, I want you to come this way. She put on the brakes and say, no, I'm not gonna come that way. And it started to go into her shutting down thing. And then it's a high, it's a high level correction for that, which is to say, you know, you shutting down is not safe either. That coping skill you have of doing that is not safe. The safest thing is to be with me, tune into where I'm going. That's the safest thing for you to do right now. Sit. Good. Good job. So what we're getting is a dog that is looking more comfortable, a lot more comfortable. A lot more relaxed, a lot more comfortable. So, comfortable with me as a handler, taking direction from me, 
lowered anxiety. Go ahead. More ease of flow physically in her body. Not seizing up with um, rejection. Lots of good stuff. So, you know, this all this stuff's really going to help her state of mind overall. Her owner's been struggling with, um, with her... Uh, anxiety, barking, um, lunging yesterday, she was pulling like crazy on the leash, and all of it's just like fear stuff, nonsense behavior. So we get them into this tight heel, this tight structured walk, and we work through these issues inside the house first, low level distractions. And working her like this 20 minutes, she's exhausted. Because she's mentally working so hard, it's like math. Like, look, I'm slowing down my pace. She's looking at my leg, super tuned in to me, exactly where I want her to be, doing great. Super tuned into the information I'm giving her. Working really, really hard. So when she goes back into her kennel, I haven't gone out and taken her for, you know, a long walk, you know. We're just walking inside the living room, but she's gonna be exhausted. And that's good, that's like the exhaustion from working really hard, so that's a really good thing. Great for dog's state of mind. Mentally work them. Walking super slow. It's not physically exhausting. So that's basically me ranting about working a fearful dog inside the house using the e-collar. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching.